hey, I'll bring a voodoo forge. Now, one of the fun things about being a blacksmith and having a little homestead is it gives me an opportunity to ridiculously overbuild simple things that we need on our homestead. Um, like tomato steaks. Um, or uh, uh, tomatoes, if you don't grow tomatoes, you, you got to stake them or put them in cages or baskets. Well, most everybody uses wooden stakes. The trouble with this is, is they might last two years uh, and, and then they're rotten, or you can buy the, the cages at the store that cost about five or six bucks a piece and they get tangled up. And I mean, if you really take care of them, you can get several years out of them. But it's kind of hard. So we mostly use steaks because uh, they're simple. But I was like, ah, let's use something that lasts a little longer. So I started with rebar. A um, couple reasons. Rebar is cheap. 3-inch uh, rebar uh, is 5 bucks for a 20-foot stick of it. And it's got ridges on it, the, the reinforcing ridges. But that makes it good to tie to. But to make it a little better, I decided to start putting a couple of loops in it. And uh, we've got some of these that we've been using for several years and we've given some away. But anyway, I had to make some this year. But these, these uh, end up, as I use a four foot of three inch rebar, so these end up costing a dollar a piece in material, not counting uh, propane and, and time. And you just need a simple uh, piece of pipe or, or something to bend it around, a forge and a vise. You can do this with a torch. Uh, if you've got some bending jigs, you can do it cold. I, I like to heat everything when I bend it. I get smoother bends. But it's just real quick, real simple. And you'll have that tomato steak problem whipped. Well, with the exception of uh, forge, a vise, and a quench tub, this is everything you need for a tomato steak. This is a little uh, bend around jig. I don't know if this is 7 eighths or 1 inch. It doesn't really matter as long as it's it's near there, but uh, this is what we lock in the vise and bend it around. This is a four foot piece of 3 8 rebar. Okay, my quench tub's full. I'm gonna put that in there and that'll help me mark uh, by the water line where I'm gonna heat it at and where I'll be quenching it at before I bend it. There's eight of them. It took me uh, 10 minutes to make those. So a dollar a piece, eight dollars in 10 minutes, and that'll stake up uh, eight tomato plants. Hit it on the second loop. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, it's a real simple thing, but that's that's one place where uh, the, the blacksmithing and having a shop comes in handy, just in in normal life. And uh, it's something that I like. I like to do things with a permanence. You know, I like to do things that, where I won't have to worry about it again for a long, long time, if ever. So, but that's uh, that's the tomato snakes. I hope you all got something out of it. Uh, I've got some uh, some projects coming up. 
it should be kind of exciting. So uh, anyway, if y'all like the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more like it, subscribe to the channel, and y'all behave yourselves.